Hi, I'm back with my fourth golf tournament results tracking spreadsheet. Uh, this one is unique uh, and is all related to best ball tournaments. Uh, I'm trying to consolidate a bunch of different best ball tournament formats into one sheet. And uh, let's just get started and I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, I'm on the uh, game uh, best ball game description uh, tab of the sheet, as you can see at the bottom here. And um, so, so what this does is it uh, best ball tournaments are when you have multiple players. Usually, it can be individual players also, but uh, you take uh, the best ball uh, of the group. And that the best score of the of the group for each hole, and um, and that counts as a score towards the total uh, for all four players. Uh, and um, there's a bunch of different ways to play that, and I'm going to take you through how this sheet can be used to track all of those different formats. So just briefly, it it, it can track individual or team play, teams from two to four players. Um, it uh, uh, tracks gross and net results. It um, also uh, can be used to track uh, a game called One Two Three Best Ball uh, that one of our subscribers, uh, one of my sub subscribers, had asked uh, to uh, um, for me to create a sheet for, and that's a unique kind of a best ball game where you can set in this sheet you can set um, how many scores you want to take out of the team for each hole so the first hole you would take uh, the f uh, one uh, best score from the first hole two best scores from the second hole and three best scores from the third hole and then you'd start all over and go one two three one two three right through the 18 holes um, this down here explains how all of that works uh, and um, uh, it's flexible where you can change it to be two, three, four. So you take two best scores for the first hole, three best scores for the second hole, four best scores for the third hole and so forth. And, um, and uh, you can even just set it to all twos or all ones uh, and I'll show you where that's all set on the uh, scorecard tab. So a few other uh, notes on this uh, game description tab. Um, these are some things that are unique to the spreadsheet. Um, row four of the scorecard is where, again, I was just talking about you set the number of scores you want to capture per hole or, or uh, track per hole. And that's related to that one, two, three best ball game. Um, but again, as I said, you, you can make that all ones or all twos. The default, um, the default in that this is set for uh, initially is for all ones. So you're just taking one best score from each hole. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, net scores are based on course handicaps. Uh, so the course handicap is calculated for you. Uh, if you know this this format of this sheet is similar to all the other uh, sheets that I've created so far. So um, the course handicap is calculated calculated for you. You just put in the the uh, person's uh, handicap index, and based on how you did the course setup, uh, it will calculate the course handicap for you. And you can also set uh, in cell D3 of the scorecard what percent of the course handicap you want to use. And that's a feature I've been putting into the sheets lately and updating some of the original sheets that didn't have it with, with that feature. Somebody had asked for that and it made sense to put that in. Um, this uh, sheet, uh, the payouts are calculated for both gross and net scores. If you're not interested in uh, tracking gross scores, just ignore the gross uh, uh, payout tab. Uh, don't put any money in it, whatever you want to do. Just just ignore it and uh, just uh, track your payouts for net scores. 
I doubt if you'd ever want to track all gross scores and not net scores, but you can do either or both. Uh, and there's also a filter in column A um, uh, on the scorecard tab, which allows you to consolidate the view. Uh, again, I'll take you through that. Um, but it's made for uh, up to four players, and if you only have one player per you know, one or two players per group, you can consolidate the view so you don't have to see blank uh, blank player scores. Um, so let me just, uh, th that's pretty much it on this tab. Uh, let me skip to the course setup tab. This is, again, um, just like the other sheets I've created, I'm not going to spend any time on this. Uh, you, this is where you put in your score, your, your specific course information, pars and handicaps per hole and, and slope and rating information. And um, uh, it's the same if, if you need a more detailed description of what's in on this, sh this tab, go back to one of the first two uh, videos that I made and I spend a little bit more time explaining all the different uh, uh, entries you can put here. But I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this right now. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, okay, so let's just go to the scorecard tabs and we'll get started on the, uh, the real uh, meat of the sheet. Okay, so the scorecard tab is very similar to other uh, scorecard tabs for the other sheets I've made. Um, uh, you know, whatever, as in all of these tabs and all of these sheets, the, the yellow highlighted cells are where you can do data entry um, and everything else is, uh, is restricted for data entry. Um, so here you put in the user's name, and just let me use a... Uh, a letter for that. Uh, the handicap index, uh, the GIN handicap index. Um, here again, I'm not, I've explained this in the other sheets, but you can select which T they're uh, playing from, um, and it's defaulted to what you had on the course setup. Uh, it defaults to whatever you put in there for, on the course setup tab. And um, as you can see, uh, here's the uh, the uh, course handicap index that uh, gets calculated from the GIN index, or course handicap that gets calculated from the GIN index. And here's where I was talking about where you can set the um, um, percent of course handicap you want to use. A lot of times 85% uh, is used, but you can set whatever percent you want. Um, so uh, that will, you can change that at any time. Um, and here's where the scores go. And just let me fill in some scores here. And I'll take you through uh, some sheets that are filled out with some test entries to show you a little bit more how uh, how this works. But and let me put in uh, player two here, and let's give them a nine handicap and. Um, I'm going to change this back to 100 just so you see that the course handicap is different than the handicap index. And we'll go with all fours here too. Okay, so uh, here's this this um, row four uh, is where you set how many scores per hole you want to capture. That's what I was talking about, that one through three game. So if I change this to a two, well, let, let's go one. If I change this to a two, you can see the highlighted numbers in green uh, tell you which scores are being counted towards the total uh, for, for best uh, for best gross here. So uh, in the first hole, since we're only capturing one best score per, per the first hole, um, the uh, total best score for the best scores on that hole is four. In this one, where we set it to two, uh, we're capturing the two best scores, so uh, the total for that hole is eight. 
And if we did three, if we had more players, you wouldn't. If you only had two players, you wouldn't set it to three. You'd never go above two, obviously. Um, and um, so that's how the one, two, three game uh, works out. And uh, again, I've got some sheets with some pre-filled scores uh, that I'll run through quickly too. Um, and then down below, the, the same thing is calculated for uh, uh, net scores. And um, uh, it, it calculates the net scores based on, you know, the, the course handicap. And... Um, and it highlights it in green, showing which ones are going to be used for that hole. So, again, it takes uh, one best score for the first hole and two best scores for the second hole, um, three and six accordingly. Um, and over here um, to the right, uh, you'll see uh, the ranking for um, this team. Um, against all the other entries you've made and uh, they're obviously <clears throat> since they're the only um, entries we've made they're uh, in first place for both gross and net. Um, now this this filter over here what I talked about on column A so since we're we're only um, sorry since we're only have two players uh, we're only having two person teams here uh, so to make this view uh, easier to, to read, uh, we'll just select, um, we're just going to select uh, players one and two. So uh, you can either unsele unselect everything, select one and two, or unselect three and four. Uh, if basically how filters work. So now this view is consolidated just so that you see only two players per team. Okay, so um, if you want to clear filters, uh, you can either clear or select everybody or just clear player filters here. Okay, so, so let me bring up a, a couple of other sheets that I have pre-filled with, uh, with test data, and I'll show you how the uh, payout tabs work. It's better to have more entries uh, than just these to uh, to show you how the payouts work so let me skip to uh, to this one um, so here's here's a sheet with um, well, quite a few uh, quite a few players um, entered um, as you can see and the scores that are entered <laughs> what, what I did here was just uh, entered as you can see, this formula, it's a random uh, number generator uh, formula. So um, every time I hit F9, it's going to change all the numbers in throughout the spreadsheet. So um, you can see how um, uh, how uh, scores change as, as uh, scores are entered, different scores are entered. So... Um, you know, again, for example, we're taking one we're taking one best score per hole, um, and uh, as you can see, uh, the, the highlighted numbers are are the ones that are captured. The highlighted in green numbers for both gross and net, um, and the rankings over here. Now, if I change this to let's go with that one two three format. Um, Oop. Uh, so that was a little slow, but uh, uh, and then uh, it's taking a little more time than I had anticipated it would, but that's probably because I have these random number generators and what's happening is every time I change this globally for the whole spreadsheet all these numbers are regenerating so let me just do this first nine uh, and uh, and stop there and three okay all right so um, all right so so the first hole we're capturing one best score so that turns out to be a three so the three for gross and that ends up being a two the second hole we're capturing two best scores uh, and the third hole we're capturing three best scores so that 
would go throughout the sheet uh, uh, if you wanted to to play a one two three game or as I said it default it can be all ones it could be all twos it can be one two three it can be two three four whatever you want to make it okay so now let's skip to uh, the payout tab uh, and here's uh, this is the same kind of payout format that I use on the other sheets. Uh, you set the total amount of money that you have in the purse um, for gro in this case for gross, and then you set uh, what percent of that money you want allocated to whatever places you want up to 10, 10 places. So this is set five hundred dollars for three places, fifty percent, thirty percent, twenty percent, and here are the winners uh, over here. Now this this shows you who came in in you know through eighth place, uh, uh, but there's no payouts after the first uh, first three uh, places. Um, and the same thing for uh, let's go to the net payout tab. The same thing for net payouts. And as you see, um, there's a tie for third place. So they split the third place money. Uh, I'm going to update these scores by hitting um, uh, F9. Um, so I'm hitting F9 here, and you can see the score is changing. Um, you know, if I brought you back to the scorecard tab, you'd see all the scores changing because of the random function I have set there. Um, but what I'm trying to show you is, uh, see, here's a case where there's a first place winner and there's a tie for second place, so uh, as you would expect, the second place winner, the two second place winners take money for, split the money for second and third place, so they get 125 each. Um, and that would be true if there was ties and, and you had more places, payouts for more places. Um, so... Uh, And see, there's third place tie. I'm trying to get a first place tie, but so far no luck. Right. Well, it's not not hitting on. Oh, there we go. There's a first place tie. So first place tie takes um, second, and I mean first and second um, place money, and then uh, third place. Uh, there's a tie also, and that splits uh, whatever's in third place. Okay, so that's basically it, and then just let me show you quickly uh, um, uh, a test uh, scenario for uh, two-man teams. Same thing, only these are for two people, um, and it's set for uh, one be one best score per hole. Um, so, uh, as you can see, it's the same thing for the payouts, uh, same setup, same format, and works basically the same way. So I hope that's uh, something that can be useful for you. Uh, I think it, that's I've covered everything here. Um, if you want a copy of this, just uh, comment under the video uh, and ask me uh, to send you the link or a, a copy. Uh, I'll, I'll send you a link to a copy of this, and you can uh, try it out, and hopefully you, uh, you'll like it. Um, if there's any questions, certainly post them. And if there's any suggestions on how uh, you might want to see this enhanced, uh, I'd be happy to try to add whatever uh, um, functionality you wanted to it. Uh, and uh, enjoy. All right. Thank you. Bye.